Yes, so we're still here on TWC talking about the multi generation people who feel like they have multi passions, multi talents, multi desires to to work on, and you have a fear in your heart that you feel like um, I'm supposed to be a person of one thing. I have to be a person of focus. If not, I'm not going to achieve much. But I have one thing to say before my guest talks. I have something to say. It's a scripture that that ended it for me. I used to be that person because I, I when growing up as a, a young teenager, I noticed that I had different passions. I had the passion to write. I had the passion to speak. One of my major passions, the passion to speak. I like to talk. I'm a talker. I can just talk. The the problem is, do you have ears to listen? <laughs> because I have mouth to talk. You know, so I, I love to speak and I love the crowd. I love to be in the presence of people to speak, to talk. I'm never afraid to be in the presence of people talking and speaking and all of that. And also I had another passion in me was I love to write. I love to sing. There was a lot that I, I loved to do. Then I love to lead people. I love to gather people. So growing up then I was just so, I was, I was a bit confused. Then we went to church and then pastor said something one day that every athlete is known for one thing. This person, this person is known for one thing, a medical doctor. This person is known for one thing, a musician. That if you don't, if you're not known for one thing, you're going to be confused and distracted, and you end up not achieving much. So I told myself, we have to choose one. You see, that I'll, I'll be a musician and stop speaking. I say no, but I like to talk. I said, okay, I'll speak and then I'll leave writing. Oh no, but I love to write. Okay, so which one do I do? It was a confusing thing, and I started gathering everything. I started doing singing, writing, talking. Then it was so crazy that. It was so crazy that I used to sing, I used to have speaking, as a teenager, I used to have speaking engagement, singing engagement, and many other things. I was in different clubs, different things to do. So on Sunday evenings were my most terrible days. I would have engagements in like three different places in the city, and I'm singing or I'm speaking somewhere, and they're calling me. So what I would do is I would ditch one, then I would ditch one, then I would go for one. I remember one of the days, one of them called me, where are you? Where are you? I left where I was, I ran to where they were. I finished singing for them for like, just just a quick, quick, it was my turn. I finished singing, but they said I had to hold on and um, I was gonna come up again. Then I lied that I had menstrual cramps, <laughs> that my stomach is paining me. I ran so I could go do something. So I was a confused teenager because of I had too many talents. And that's obviously among talented people is that you're a confused teenager until, until something happened, and I'm going to tell you about what happened, what changed it for me. I'll tell you about that after my guest speaks to us. We've been talking so much about this, and I just wanted to give a word of encouragement to somebody who you think has this multi thing and they are distracted or they are confused about which one to touch, which one not to do. Should I even do all or just pick one and leave the rest? Just say something. All right, so I think you will start by silencing the noise in your heart silencing the noise in your heart being at a place of peace be very peaceful or come to a place of peace where the cares of life activities don't bother you anywhere uh, anymore anymore and you're just at peace there you can think mm. there you can think you can draft out plan and it's good to hold a pen in each other. So mm. as you're thinking, you're also writing out. Mm. So journal your thoughts. Mm. Journal your thoughts. You mentioned something about peace and that's very beautiful, right? Because the Bible said in quietness, you'll be able to possess your soul. That means if you're not at peace, you'll be all over the place. Yes. Then you mentioned journaling. So I have to calm my spirit and I have to sit down and write my thoughts. Because sometimes when you write things down, you're able to put them in perspective. Pray with it, look for guiding scriptures. You say meditate on the scriptures, speak them out, pray, and ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Mm. Yes. Right. Thank you so much, Miracle. So I'm just going to add an ending note to it. Anybody here who feels they are multi, by multi, I mean you have different talents, different giftings, different passions. Because many times the thing you're called to do might not be your talent. It might not be the the um the indication that you're called to do something is not always your talent. It could be a passion, a desire for it. So here's the thing that came to me that changed my mind. It was a scripture where the king was about traveling and then he called his servants. He called three of them and he gave one five talents. He gave the other one two talents and he gave the other one one talent. 
he said do business till i come occupy okay. till i come that means he was expecting them to use all of those talents and here's what happened the guy that he gave five talents made business did business with the five and gave him ten return hold on, on return on investment the guy did not do business with one mm. and say i'm a person of one thing mm-hmm. do you understand he did business with all five and then he came back with ten and and, it, and the master was like good and faithful servant that's and that is what that's a picture of of the end of the age where we'll go back to give accounts yes. i don't know if you think about it sometimes that you're going to give accounts miracle yes i am like you're going to stand before god and accounting them is that i gave you money to buy something mm-hmm. i gave you 500k to buy something you're like okay i bought this one 100k i bought this one 25k i'm not be like so that's 45k what did you do with it Gosh, that means for everything god has put inside of you they're going to demand mm-hmm. what did you do with this one mm-hmm. So he said he gave them five, and if the guy they gave five did business. So the question is not should I should I do everything in my heart. The question is how should I space it, space it rather? How effectively? How effectively? Which one comes first? Which one is most important? In fact, the guy they gave one that is the person of one thing mm. now did not do anything. He was so afraid. He was so afraid. Mm-hmm. The person with one thing. So it's not a question of do I have one talent or one passion. It's a question of capacity to handle what is given to you and the thing is before god will give you passion he gives you overwhelming capacity god never gives us passion without capacity mm-hmm. he never gives us assignment without capacity so there's always overwhelming capacity for the assignment god is giving to you the answer to your question is yes if god has called you to do things as many as he has called you to do you have the ability to do them another answer to your question is you go back to the holy spirit and ask him when how the bible said the vision is for an appointed time that means everything you have called to do you won't do them at once so some something has to be the arrowhead that goes first it could be that god is going to start you up with singing but at the end of the day you're going to be a pastor <laughs> singing is not going to be the end game it's pastoring but we we'll start start you with singing then you start doing teenage motivation okay. and all of that blah blah at the end of the day whoosh, a mighty apostle is out here so don't be afraid to express what god has put inside of you feel free you have you have the holy spirit and the holy spirit is a spirit of expression he allows you be he allows you do and he allows you become do you have any last words for anybody right now before we go on god this episode? loves you god loves you god loves you yes god loves, god loves you, you. God loves you. God loves jesus you. loves you jesus. my jesus loves you yes you are lord you are lord can we sing for you <laughs> do you want a song a special number from me and you to them i just want to say to you that you are lord <laughs> thank you so much for being part of twc love you see you on the next episode